It's time for recipe of the day. You know, I love shrimp scampi. I mean, I just love anything with that much garlic in it, right? So it was a no-brainer that at some point I was going to make a shrimp scampi pasta bake. And I got to tell you, I really, really love this recipe. It has so much flavor, but it's also just kind of a lazy thing to make. And I like those lazy things. So how do you make a shrimp scampi pasta bake? Now, first, you're going to be cooking some spaghetti according to the regular package directions. But just before you drain it, you want to scoop out about half a cup of the pasta water. Now I have a tip for remembering how to do that because I always forget and I'm like draining the pasta, the water's going down the drain and I'm going, no. What you do is you put your colander in the sink with the measuring cup in the colander and then you get your water going for the spaghetti. So as soon as you get to a recipe that says that you're going to be scooping out that pasta water, get the colander in the sink and put the measuring cup in there. Then when you're carrying your hot pot of pasta with the noodles over to the sink about to drain it, you see the measuring cup there and then you remember it before all the water is gone. Okay, so while the pasta is cooking, you're going to get a sauce ready. You're going to put some cream cheese and butter in a medium-sized microwave-safe bowl and you're going to microwave it for 30 seconds, give it a stir and repeat again until the butter is melted and the cream cheese is nice and softened. To that, you're adding some fresh parsley that you've chopped up, some garlic minced, some lemon zest, salt and pepper, and then that's where your reserved half cup of pasta water is going to go once you have it. As soon as you get that pasta water, add that in and whisk it in really good to incorporate it, and that means you've got your drained pasta now as well. The pasta's ready. You're going to put that pasta in a 9 by 13 casserole dish, and then you add that creamy, cheesy sauce and stir it to combine. Then you're going in with raw shrimp. That's right. They don't have to be cooked because they're going to cook through very quickly in the oven with the pasta and everything. Now for this one, we definitely don't want any peels or tails on these shrimp because it's going to be in this pasta bake. You're scooping it into your mouth from the plate. You don't want to have to be touching all the shrimp with your fingers to get tails and and peels off, right? So you're going with one and a half pounds of raw, peeled and deveined, no tail, medium-sized shrimp. So not big ones. They're a little bit smaller. You're going to get more of them in there so that more mouthfuls have a little shrimp in them. And when you add that shrimp to that casserole, also go in with half a cup of mozzarella cheese, stir that really good, and then top the whole thing with another half cup of the cheese. Then you're going into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. You should have preheated that a while ago. I forgot to tell you, sorry. And that is going into the oven until the shrimp are cooked through. And you can tell because they're nice and pink, opaque, and curled up. And also the cheese is going to be all nice and browning on top. It's going to take about 30 minutes. And then dinner is served. It's a really complete and satisfying meal. You might just want a salad or something on the side and that'll be it. Okay, I'll put the link to this recipe in the show notes or you can head to cookthestory.com slash ROTD to get the links there. Or you can join our Facebook group, cookthestory.com slash Facebook ROTD. I'm Christine Pittman from cookthestory.com, thecookful.com, the all new chicken cookbook and from this podcast, Recipe of the Day. I hope you have a great day. Let's get cooking. (laughs) 